Hey fellow Dentonites, welcome back to another episode of the Buzz in Denton. Uh, we're doing the What's Up Weekend Denton Report, right? I am your host, Terry Buzzard Jr. Uh, we're going to take you on a little bit of a journey um, on what's happening for Friday, November the 3rd. Uh, this is First Friday Denton, so there's going to be a lot of extra little things going on. So you definitely want to get out there, get out and participate and kind of do the things that we'd like to do. And that's just be awesome bit nights. Uh, and then also, if you, if again, if you're finding value in this, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, follow me. Um, I am on both Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so make sure you, you pick and choose whatever your favorite platform is. Uh, I do try and post these videos uh, the day before. So like on Thursday, you'll prepare for for Fridays, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if you guys have a, fee, a feed for that or feel for that, let us know. I can, I'd be more than happy to change, just get all of them posted in the same day, whatever's going to make the most sense for everybody. So um, just out of curiosity, so just uh, leave, it, leave it in the comments. Uh, well, let's start off. So we always like to start off with what national So on Friday uh, the 3rd, um, the national day is Jersey Day. Right, Rangers just won. Guess what? Wear your Rangers jersey. Wear your Ohio State jersey. Whatever, wear whatever jersey it is. Let's let's make it a sports community. UNT, of course. You know, uh, it's also uh, National Housewife Day. Um, and if if you have the 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 privilege of having an incredible housewife, uh, make sure you go out of your way to make sure you thank her or him today. Really, I shouldn't say that anymore. Um, it should be House Persons Day. Uh, but either way, uh, make sure you say thanks to them. Make sure you acknowledge them more for what they do, the more than you normally would on any other day. Um, and it's also National Sandwich Day. Yeah, National Sandwich. Now I don't know if a hot dog's a sandwich or a sub, but maybe you could have a hot dog. Uh, but I know that the um, uh, you know uh, Chestnut Tree has some really really good sandwiches you might want to go check them out uh, and then there's obviously some places around town as well that do some very unique things um, so stop on out and check them up and enjoy a sandwich for national sandwich day uh, let's see so now diving in again like we'd mentioned before it is first friday's denton there's events all around town going on a longer time uh, fortunately most of them are kind of happening at the beginning of the day so they're all, the first part i'm going to talk about is going to be all based on just first fridays um, but there's some other things that get kind of scattered in there later on in the evening as well that you want to take advantage of also stay tuned because i got a few announcements at the end of what's upcoming for the next couple of week and a half two weeks um, that you want to definitely listen for so first off, uh, Regenerus uh, for First Friday. Regenerus is doing yoga on the courthouse lawn. Uh, that does kick off at 9 a.m. Uh, temperature is going to be a nice little brisk, 60, 46, 47, you know, upper 40s, mid to upper 40s. Uh, so make sure you come prepared. And it is rejuvenating when you're out there in that cold weather, stretching, just enjoying life. Uh, but do that. Uh, the second thing we have for First Fridays is um, it, uh, Demure uh, Styles Boutique. At 11 a.m., uh, she's having some great specials. Uh, she's doing free style consultants. You can come in. Uh, they can work with you on what your style is and, and kind of give you some tips and pointers, maybe something that you haven't ever looked at from that particular angle because everybody has different opinions on things, so it's always good to absorb as many different angles of opinions as you can. Um, there's going to be discounts going to be offered. They're doing giveaways. They're doing a sip and shop. Hey, what better way to start a Friday morning at 11 o'clock than with one mosa in your hand? Not saying you're having mimosas, but why wouldn't you? Um, let's see, the other first Friday that we're doing is over at the GDAC building. Uh, they're doing the picnic at the pack. Uh, that kicks off at 12 o'clock. If you have not been to that, uh, what that is is basically you bring your own lunch, you show up at the pack, uh, and you uh, sit down and have lunch and listen to some great bands. They always have some good bands in there, you know. Uh, some of them are very, very super famous. Uh, some of them are not. Um, they're just locals, but they're always, always good. Uh, let's see, now we have on First Fridays also at D20 Tavern, they're doing some specials. Uh, starting at 4 o'clock, they're doing $2 off any flights. Uh, so if you want to get the sample and broad spectrum of beer that they have, you can get the chance to save some money. Plus, of course, you get to uh, play some really, really cool games. Uh, now, let me see. Also on First for first Friday, Denton, uh, we do have the M&B Tiny Shop. If you don't know where that's at, it's right behind... Um, uh, right next to where Denton County Brewing Company is, you got the half price or the, or the used sporting equipments. You have Ambrose Tacos, I believe. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And then right behind it's the M&B shop. It is a cultural shop, uh, mostly Hispanic heritage. Uh, they'll do a little pop-up right there where they'll have several vendors come in uh, to show their wares. Again, very culturally rich. So definitely stop out, check them out, see what their wares are. Um, could be awesome. Might pick up a few things. Support local, right? 
Um, okay, now I'm going to kind of combine these two because we've got Game Changers and Dusty's Bars, part of the same thing right there at the junction. They are doing first Friday drink specials, right? Uh, so that, start, that kicks off at 5 o'clock, get off work, beeline there. Uh, one, they have great food. Uh, but two, find out what their drink specials are. I mean, if you like to drink after work on Fridays, why not save money? You know, if they're offering these specials just like at D20 Tavern, go check them out, guys. Uh, let me see. And then from there, we got a kind of a little hopping thing here real fast. Um, at the UNT CoLab, uh, they're bringing out the opening reception for Collective Wisdom Exhibition. Um, that does kick off at 6 o'clock. Um, I don't know if you've been there or not. It's not super, super big, but you can spend a good half hour, 45 minutes in there and checking everything out. Um, usually on opening days, the artists will be there as well, kind of checking things out. You can kind of see what's happening. You get to talk to a medium, especially if you do like something. And of course, things are always for sale. And of of course, they're always, always uh, packed full of UNT merchandise, which is awesome, uh, primarily because on Saturdays, a UNT game, pick up something extra special for that, right? Um, and then from there, if you head over on Still for First Friday, Denton, uh, Patchouli's Joe and Books, they're doing their poetry reading. That does kick off at 6.30. So you can go to the, collab, the UNT CoLab, uh, check out some awesome art. And then make a quick little short distance walk over to Patchouli's and listen to some poetry. I mean, how much culturally rich can you get? Uh, it seems like just looking in the past, that lasts about an hour, plus or minus. So you're not going to be out too late. Um, and they'll probably have some other specials going on as well for, for that event. Um, and then uh, the last one literally listed for First Friday's Denton was at Norman Roscoe. Uh, they are doing some live music. I've never seen them do that before. Personally, they probably have, uh, but they're going to have some bands in there. That does kick off at 7. Band start at 8. My guess is they'll probably have some specials, uh, maybe have some T-shirts, maybe they'll have a special screening, something like that. So definitely go check them up. It's always fun to see what they got, see if there's anything new, right? Uh, and then also, uh, next we're going to have at Steve's Wine Bar. Um, this isn't directly related to First Friday Denton, uh, but I'd still say it's kind of part of it because Steve's usually pretty good about uh, supporting most things in Denton. And this is a uh, uh, Main Street Association event as well. Um, Fingerprints is going to be there with Nick and, and the, the entire crew. That does start at 7.30, $15 uh, cover for, for that particular event. Uh, and Fingerprints is great. Fun little band. Um, if you haven't seen them, definitely, definitely go check them out. Uh, let me see. Rubber Gloves, always one of the fun places in town with some awesome, awesome, incredible music. Uh, they're having uh, Ro Bob Log the Third with Joe Gorgeous and Special Agent um, is going to be there. That kicks off at 8 p.m. Um, $15 cover there at the door for that. Dan Silverleaf, right? <laughs> Gotta love Dan's. It's the dance party with DJ Yet uh, Yadef. Uh, with the, it's going to be a big dance party uh, that kicks off at nine o'clock. So you could actually kind of hit both of those. That is a free event. Show up there, dance off. Uh, in the past, they've done really good with bringing in music from the 90s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, whatever. They kind of progress through. Uh, but there's always going to be a good time and great dancing. Um, they do ask that you RSVP, but it's not required. They just want to know what to kind of prepare for. Uh, they may have snacks or something there for you. I don't know. Uh, Harvest House is doing some, uh, some bloke. Uh, some bloke uh, that starts at 9 p.m. Uh, they always have good stuff. Plus, it's going to be perfect patio weather for Friday. It's going to be nice and a little bit warmer up in the 70s that day. Uh, rubber gloves. Um, again, later on that evening, of course, they had the one that started at 8, but in one of the other side rooms, uh, they're having TX Chino. TX Chino in there is kicking off at 9.30. Again, I'm going to go on the assumption it's going to be that same $15 cover charge, though that wasn't listed directly, but I'm sure just getting into the doors, it's going to cost you 15 bucks. Um, why not? Because though that money does go to pay the bands, and they deserve, they put a lot of work into that, so it's extremely important. Uh, then uh, last but not least, of course, one of our favorite, um, El Taco H does their Latin dance nights. Uh, that does kick off at 10 p.m. Um, that is a weekly occurrence. This is the first uh, the, the first Friday, so this is probably a Salsa by Joe event as well, which means that um, you're going to learn some, uh, some salsa and some bachata dancing, and you'll have a really good time. So if, you've never, if you don't know how to do it, you can at least get some quick lessons and kind of learn and go through that. Um, but that's it. That's it for Friday, uh, November the 3rd. However, I do want to make sure that we do bring up uh, what we have upcoming um, in, in just a short, short time here. Um, I just want to highlight a couple things that are kind of bigger ones you might want to check out. Uh, first off, on November 10th, that's a Friday. That's, that's, a, that's a week from 
from Friday that we're talking about on the third air. It's seven o'clock. Uh, first movie starts at eight over at the Golden Room. Um, I know they used to change the name, it used to be the Golden Boy, but they've ch recently changed names. And I, I apologize, I forget what it is. Uh, they're having a didn't release movie party. Um, and if you're not familiar with what that movie is, uh, there's some locals um, that grew up here in Denton that are big actors in Denton. Um, it is a national a national movie um, on Goatman right there on Old Alton Bridge. A little bit of history about it as well that really ties in that kind of gets in some of the mythical parts of it. Um, I can tell you, I was out there doing an interview with them, which you guys will see here shortly later on today. Um, or here shortly, and we were having problems with our equipment. It was kind of freaky. It really was. And I also heard stories about how, you know, they had just charged battery packs when they were out there walking. All of a sudden, they got, you know, half a mile back to where they were filming, and all of a sudden, everything was just dead. So, a little bit freaky. Maybe there's myth to it. Maybe there's reality. I don't know. Um, but, you know, uh, definitely don't go there during the night, I guess. Uh, and then also over at Oak Street Draft House on the 12th, um, starting at 12 o'clock, it's going to be between the three different places, Miss Angeline's, Oak Street, and they're, they're having the Macaroni and Cheese Festival. Yeah, and you get to be part of the judging from my understandings. Uh, they'll do the first kickoff at, at 12 o'clock at Oak Street, and then I think you go to Miss Angeline's for two, either either one or two, and then the next one's at, at Oak Street, or not Oak Street, I'm sorry, East Side. Uh, that's where they'll go ahead and announce the winners and get everything tallied up a chance to try macaroni and cheese. I mean, who doesn't like that? Um, then also, lastly but not least, um, this particular one, on November the 16th, uh, Theater Denton does their annual fundraiser, uh, Beaujolais and More. Um, and if you're not familiar with that, that does kick off at 5.30 at the North Texas Fairgrounds. Uh, 30 bucks to get in. Um, you get the sample from, I don't know, 30 different restaurants and breweries and winery places that are around. Um, they all go in there. You pay 30 bucks to get in the door. Uh, uh, then you get to walk around and sample from everybody. And there's I, there's just so many different restaurants. Um, it's a really, really fun event. It's packed. If you leave there hungry, you did it to yourself on purpose because there's no way you could possibly walk out of there without trying so many things. It's 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 incredible event. Uh, so definitely go check that out. But hey, that's again, that's everything that we have for uh, Friday, uh, uh, November the 3rd. And we do look forward to seeing you out there. Again, if you see me, don't be afraid to say hi. Um, and again, do your, do your best if you can to brighten someone's day.